Hello children of class 3. Today we are going to do a new chapter from your book Marigold. So let's see which chapter we are going to do. So see children we are going to do a new chapter Little Tiger Big Tiger. Okay. So here you can see the tiger. You all know it is a wild animal and lives in a jungle. Okay, so let's read the chapter first. Okay, children, we will read this uh, chapter, Little Tiger, Big Tiger. You can read along with me. There was a mother tiger and her small tiger cub. Cub is the baby tiger. They lived near a river. Where did they live? They lived near a river in a shady jungle. Shady jungle means a jungle full of trees and which gives us shade. When the sky was dark means when it was night time the mother tiger hunted for deer and pig. Okay. The little tiger or the tiger cub stayed close by his mother's side. The baby tiger was always with the mother. When the langur monkey saw her, he called a loud harsh call. Watch out! A tiger is coming. The langur used to warn the other animals that a tiger is coming, so watch out. A sambar deer bellowed. A Kakar deer barked and sometimes the game got away. Means they all used to run away. She hunted them for jungle fowl, for peasants and for frogs or went to the river for fish. But she did not hunt every night. So the mummy tiger used to hunt means catch frogs and birds. Fowl is a bird and peasant is a bird. Okay. So and she did not hunt every night. Means she did not kill the animals every day at night. Okay. Then she used to go to the river to catch fish also. Okay. So if the moon was bright. If the moon was bright means means when there was moonlight in the jungle, the mother tiger lay down and waited for the dawn. Dawn means morning. She twitched the tip of her tail and the tiger pub pounced on her tail again and again. When the mother used to lie down, the baby tiger or the cub used to pounce means jump on her tail again and again. That is the uh, little tiger or the baby tiger or the cub was just having fun or he was playing. So, we will read further from the next page that is page number 70. If he went too far away means the baby cub used to go too far away the mother tiger called him with a low quiet grunt. Okay. So, the mother used to call the baby to come back when the tiger cub used to go far away. The tiger cub came back but he did not like to stay near his mother in the jungle at night. So the tiger, baby tiger, he used to go here and there. He, he did not like to stay near, the, near his mother. One night the mother tiger was tired and closed her eyes. The mother tiger was very tired and she just closed her eyes. The tiger cub saw a tiny frog hopping along the ground the tiger cub pounced means he jumped but the frog hopped away okay so he chased chase means he followed the frog and caught it so the baby tiger caught the frog and turned to show his mother but she was not inside so the baby tiger was happy for chasing a frog and catching it 
and he just turned to show his mother but the mother was not in sight means the no the mother was not there instead he saw a tiger bigger than his mother near him in the jungle what did he see he saw a big tiger the tiger's eyes the tiger's green eyes glistened as he watched the tiger cub the tiger cub was frightened means the tiger was scared because the big tiger's eyes green eyes the big tiger had green eyes and it glistened glistened means it had light inside okay it was sparkling okay he could not hide or run now the baby tiger could not hide or run he left the frog hop away now what did he do he let the frog go away the tiger crept up closer to the little tiger cub now the big tiger came closer to the little baby tiger but a road filled the jungle there was a loud sound of the tiger the roar of the mother tiger she faced the other tiger and he went away okay as soon as the mummy tiger faced the faced the big tiger he went away the mother tiger looked the mother tiger liked to roar a loud big tiger roar to tell all the other animals in the jungle that she was there all the other animals in the jungle kept far far away okay so the mother used to make a big roar sound and all the other animals used to keep away from the mother tiger the tiger cub also liked to roar a loud tiger cub roared to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there even the baby tiger loved to give a big roar but all the other animals in the jungle were not afraid at all and none of them ran away when the baby tiger used to give a loud roar no animals were afraid and they did not run away but when the mother uh, tiger used to roar roar every animal used to keep away from her but there came a year when the small tiger cub was a full grown tiger so after some time there was a time when the baby cub was a big tiger he walked for miles alone hunting for game at night when he rode to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there all the other animals in the jungle kept far far away and the great big tiger that had been a small tiger cub hearing his own loud roar smiled to himself a great big tiger smile so the baby tiger grew up into a big tiger and now when he used to roar the animals used to keep away and the tiger was happy and he smiled to himself that he had grown and he was a big tiger okay so now we come to the new words which you can write five times in your notebook so i will read out and tell you the meaning also shady means full of shade means covered with trees where you get shade bellowed means to make a loud roaring sound twitched means sudden movement pounced means jumping or jump then grunt means it is actually the sound of a pig the pig sound is called grunt like the sound of a dog is bark okay game you game you all know something which you have for fun or something which you do for what fun glistened means full of light roared means a loud noise now the next two words are the name of birds okay the next two words these two words are name of birds 
this word is p h e a s e n t it is pronounced as phasens 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 and f o w l is fowl both are name of birds okay next we uh, come to the question and answers tick the right answer so there are four options given you have to just tick the right answer where did the mother tiger and her small tiger cub live so near a river near a mountain near a forest or near a sea so the correct answer is they live near a river what did the mother tiger hunt when the sky was dark so what did the mother tiger hunt sheep and goats fishes and frogs deer and pigs donkeys and horses so what did the mother tiger hunt when the sky was dark sheep and goats the second one what did the mother tiger hunt when the sky was dark sheep and goats deer and pigs fish fish and frogs donkeys and horses the mother tiger used to hunt deer and pigs okay then what did the tiger cub catch one night a deer a pig a frog or a cat so we all know the baby tiger had caught a frog next question is what happened to the tiger cub when he chased the frog so see children the answer is a big tiger came to the little tiger when he chased a frog so children we will do word building match the animals with the young ones horse these are the name of animals and these are the name of their babies so a baby horse is called a colt baby dog is called a puppy baby cat is called a kitten baby cow is called a calf baby pig is called a piglet baby tiger is called a cub and baby sheep is called a lamb baby goat is called a kid and baby duck is called a duckling next you have to make words the right words from the jumbled word letters here so the first one is done for you a d c means is the jumbled letters and it forms the word cat so the next one is s e m o u so this is mouse m o u s e then next one r e s o h is horse h o r s e then next is o i n l that is lion the next one is p e s h e so this is sheep next one is r e d e this is deer next is l u b l this is bull next is g i t e r this is the tiger and this is f o l w this is the wolf okay this is the wolf so now we come to here here the animals birds in column a here you have the animals and birds okay from b to sparrow and you have to reach their home in column b this is the column b and these are the homes so let's start b b will be hive a bee lives in a hive then ant lives in an ant hill a tiger lives in a den that is already done a rabbit lives in, lives in a burrow a spider lives in a web then a sparrow lives in a nest okay i hope it is clear to you now let's write now write six sentences from the picture given in exercise 3 of word building one has been done for you that is a tiger lives in a den so now we have to write a bee lives in a hive an ant lives in a ant hill 
a duck oh a duck lives in a pond a rabbit lives in a burrow a spider lives in a web a sparrow lives in a nest i hope it is clear how you have to write at the end of the video i will give you the pictures of all the question and answers which you have to do in your notebook so don't worry you will be understanding clearly what to write okay so here it's let's talk a little tiger cub slipped away from his mother when his mother was asleep he soon got into trouble tell the class about a similar incident when you did not listen to your parents and found yourself in trouble so let me tell you then i will write it and put it at the end of the video so one day when i was very small there was a candle lit as there was no electricity at home so i was trying to catch the flame my parents told me not to do it but i did not listen and finally i burnt my finger it was very painful and then my mother applied ice on the burnt part and then i got some relief so we should always listen to our parents okay the next is team time make groups one person for each group should act like so one person will act like a mummy tiger mummy tiger will say oh no baby don't go there okay don't go there in the deep jungle okay it is dangerous something like that the mother tiger will tell the cub will say oh mama don't worry i will be okay then the large male tiger okay the large male tiger what will the large male tiger say where is your mama okay something like that the frog the frog will be say frog will say oh i am happy it is raining and then the samba deer what will it say oh i am thirsty i'll go to the river and the langur monkey the langur monkey will shout oh watch a tiger is coming then you can read these words and say loud q u i e t quiet okay next word is f e l l o w fellow b i g g e s t biggest next is r i c h e r richer q u i t e quiet then s h a l l o w shallow s m a l l small r i c h e s t richest q u e e n queen s a sorry s w a l l o w s w a l l o w swallow s m a l l e r smaller p o u n c e pounds q u a r l r r e l quarrel b i g big s m a l l e s t smallest b o u n c e pounds b e l l o w bellow b i g g e r bigger r i c h okay you can get these words for your dictation okay okay next we will do this who am i this is a crossword puzzle so first what we do is we fill before filling we will find out who am i i give wool so wool is given by sheep i lay eggs hen you can see this pictures also according to that you have to give answers i give you milk so it is a cow i carry load so it is a donkey d o n k e y i neigh neigh means horse sound so this is a horse i am man's best friend all of you know that a dog is man's best friend i live in a stay that is a pig then i bleat is a goat then 
I am a ship of the desert is camel. Now we can easily fill in here. So the first one is I lay, I give rule. So that one is the S H E E P. Second one is I lay eggs. So we will go down H E and N hen. Third one is I give you milk. Where is three? Three is here. So this will be cow. C U W cow. I carry loads. Number four. So here is number four. So this will be D O N K E Y donkey. Next one, fifth one, I nay. Where is number five? Here. Okay, so, so this will be H O R S E, horse. Then I am man's best friend. So that is number six. That is D O G, dog. Then I live in a stay. That is a pig. This is number seven. P I G, pig. Then I bleat. Number 8, that is G-O-A-T, goat. I am the ship of the desert. Number 9, that is the last one. So, this is C-A-M-E-N-L. Okay. So, that is done. So, children, that is done. Now, after this video, at the end of the video, I will be putting the pictures of the written work which you can do in your notebook. I will give you the question and answers and the uh, written sentences okay so don't worry go through the video complete video you will understand and try to read the chapter two three times so that you improve your reading okay thank you for watching